Good morning, y'all. It's Tuesday out here in Singapore. Rasa has been coming at you live. I wanted to jump on real quick and talk to you a little bit about this chat hub I attended yesterday. So there's an account called It's Okay to Not Be Okay. And I uh, just found out about it through one of my colleagues at Empire Artists, and he happens to have been one of the founding members. So he has been posting and sharing uh, quotes and um, articles from the account itself and I have been just blown away by the kind of work that they're doing. So now right right now they're using all of our local celebrities to talk about the things that they've been through. And I appreciate that because the question came up yesterday, well hey, how come we don't have regular people posting videos about what they've been through either? And I thought about it and I and I understand the public right now really trusts celebrities. They trust that celebrities when they say things, you know, that means they've really been through something because in order to become a celebrity it's not like an overnight success thing. You're not just suddenly discovered and plucked out of thin air. You kinda gotta put in the work, right? So that means you got to deal with a lot of rejections. You got to, you know, try, 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 try. People don't pay attention. People don't like what you got to say. People don't like the, you know, the work that you're putting out, whatever. And then eventually somebody gives you a break and then the rest of the world gets to hear you and suddenly you're, wow, you're this big, amazing thing, right? So I get that. I understand that completely. But I also know that for those of us who understand the other side of celebrity work, we know that a lot of the work that they do is scripted, that they have, um, that they have to play multiple different characters. They have to really get into the role of the character, understand what the characters, where the character is coming from, what the character uh, has experienced in their life for us to be able to bring it across on screen. And so there are a lot of us who are also mistrusting. They don't, they don't trust that you know when a celebrity says they've been through some difficulties, unless they can give us specific details, we don't trust those things. So I appreciate it when regular people also come forward. Now I realize that it's it's easier said than done. Um, for, even for me, right? I've been talking about the things that I've been through for, for ages, but there are certain details that I do leave out because I don't want to start World War III. I don't want to upset people. I don't want to, um, I don't want to aggravate, you know, already tender situations within, uh, my circle of people, right? So I leave things be, but that doesn't mean I can't talk about it on the surface. I can't talk about it like, you know, the root cause of the problem, how many other people are going through this kind of dis uh, disappointment or this fear, this jealousy, any of those emotions, right? And I can talk about those things. But last night was kind of different because it was a very intimate setting. It was quiet. It was away from, you know, prying eyes. It was a safe space. Uh, it was in the scape at the fifth floor. And this is a chat hub. Uh, it's a, a gathering of people, public and celebrities and um, professionals as well, who gather together to kind of create the kind of environment where you can sit and talk about whatever it is that's on your mind. And the the format was really simple, actually. You went around the room, you talked about how your day was. To Yesterday was my first ever session, and I've been curious about it for a couple of months now, but I finally, you know, figured it out and got there. I got there late, <laughs> but I got there nevertheless. And it was, um, it was nice because, you know, we're looking at November right now, and they wanted to go around the room and kind of gather up the details of how your year has been. And it seemed to me like a lot of people were going through... Um, a tumultuous 2019 it seemed like there were a lot of ups and downs a lot of new beginnings a lot of new experiences so there's a lot of fear and doubt um, that that come with that and we talked about a multitude of things so we had one young lady who really opened up and told us about you know her, look her home life is not great it's not ideal but she takes pride and she takes refuge in her work because she really enjoys her work and I appreciate that I understand what that's like I was a workaholic for many years because you know what that meant that I felt like I was needed and um, important that I was crucial to the network to the the ecosystem at work whereas I didn't feel that way at at home so I kind of stayed at work a lot longer than I needed to of course that was you know there was another question of overtime pay and everything but that's that's on another note right but the point being that I could understand I could identify with that I've been in that place before another young lady was talking about you know what I just got used to doing things on my own and it's the single most freeing thing I've ever done for myself because everyone and their mother keeps asking me why I'm not married yet. I get that. I understand that completely. For me, it was really difficult because I had lost myself in a relationship to the point that I didn't know how to do anything on my own because I was always waiting for permission to go out somewhere. I was always taking the kids everywhere that I went. I uh, needed to check in everywhere that I went to make sure that, you know, um, the people that cared for me or my husband were um, were aware, fully aware of where I was, what I was doing, who I was doing it with, because there was a jealousy uh, that was underlying in that relationship. So I needed to make sure that I was checking everywhere I went. Now, all of the things that we mentioned 
uh, actually one, one other young lady mentioned that, you know, she likes to go out and work out. And even though there are some days that she doesn't feel like doing it, she pushes herself to get there because at the end of the workout, she has this satisfying feeling that, you know what, even though I didn't want to, I still accomplished something. I still got it done and I feel really good about myself. So there are those aspects of physical fitness and, um, and mental health and that solitude versus loneliness um, the, the, the joy of work, trying to find a space where you really just fit in and you feel comfortable enough to just be yourself. All of those things are important aspects of mental health. And I really appreciate the fact that these professionals here are trying to do their best. They are very wary of what they say because they don't want to trigger anybody, but they also feel like, you know what, this is something we need more of. So we are actually promoting a live event, um, where, whereby we actually gather together and live telecast a Instagram and Facebook event where beforehand we're going to collect as many questions and comments and concerns as possible and then try to address them all live because we can share all of our experiences and let you know, hey, you know, we came through it. It wasn't easy and my way is probably different from what you're thinking that you should, you probably need to do as well. But if I share it, maybe it'll give you another idea of how else you might be able to, to manage the situation that you happen to be in. So for that, I really, really needed to give a big shout out to um, Barbirani, Narin, um, uh, Gayatri, and um, Manju, who actually is the organizer. I have been blown away. I wasn't sure how I would fit in, if I would be in the right place or not, but I took a chance and decided to come down and not necessarily to kind of like air my laundry or to get help or anything, but just to, to find out if I could maybe fit in and help out in some small way because I am doing the work. I am talking about the mental health aspects every day, all day, and I want to make sure that people know that I am physically available. I'm around um, if you need me, if you need a different point of view, maybe because I haven't been in Singapore all my life, maybe because, you know, I've lived in other countries and I can see what other people are doing in other countries, how it may be helpful to you. Maybe I can give you a different set of um, set of ideas that, that might help you relieve some of the anxiety and tension that you're feeling in your life itself. So with that, I just wanted to give a big shout out. I appreciate what they're doing. I'm hoping to get more and more involved. I know that uh, two of the, the professionals that were down there are actually from INH and um, I appreciate the the space that they're, they're trying to create here it's not going to be perfect they're just starting out but the point is they're trying they're doing something in the community rather than talking about it and talking about you know how things need to change they're doing something about that and i couldn't be more proud to be affiliated with them so tune in more 27th of november at about 8 p.m if you join in on my instagram account on my facebook account i will try and live stream and share it with you all then as well but otherwise i will link in the bottom where you can find the page itself and um, yeah, hopefully you can follow along and reach out if you're based here in Singapore, uh, if you need someone to physically come and speak to you or you want to come meet up with somebody so you can speak to them, it would be really, really helpful, I think, to, to know that there are more people out there like you, more people out there that suffer the same situations as you. Not saying that your situation isn't big, it is big, it's big to you, I get it, uh, but that you don't have to do this by yourself. That there are people out there that are willing to listen. If you're brave enough to come forward and say, hey, I need help. I need someone to listen to me right now. Do you have time? Okay. I love you guys. And I'll catch you again soon. Bye.